James and Natalie, they're coming with us. What? We can't just pick people up we don't know. We've got ourselves to think about. We'll take anyone we can who isn't sick. Where's Anna? Eddie. Where's Anna? She's getting some fresh air. Josie! Kate. We'll have to dump her. <laughs> Let's just be clear about what you're saying. Leaving the city is a big risk. Yeah, we know that, but what choice have we got? There's no food left, and God knows how much longer the power's gonna last for. Screw the power, it's those fucking things out there. Look, let's just agree that we're running out of options, shall we? Especially now we've got James and Natalie with us. No offence. Yeah, because we really need 2.4 children to make things easier right now. Josie, for God's sake, shut up! We do not need this crap! Oh, you know it's true. She's the one that's gonna be... We need to stick together, right? I mean, how many people are left? We need to go outside and find somebody. We need to get to a safe place. Where, Eddie? Where the hell are we supposed to go? Don't know, Josie. We just need to get out of here. And unless you've got any bright ideas, I suggest you shut up. Please tell me we're not walking. We'll take Anna's car. Josie, you're driving. Shit! Why, Josie? Why not? Does it matter? Yes, it matters! What if I don't want to? Josie, since this whole shitstorm kicked off, you've done nothing but bitch about everything and smoke all day. You're driving so that one day when we're out of this mess, you might think you did something fucking useful for a change. It's too dangerous. You can count me out. Well, we're pretty much just counting you out of everything, shall we? Stop it! Look, whatever we do, we can't do with Anna in the boot of a car. Right. If she bites one of us, we're dead. We're gonna have to get rid of her. Are you out of your mind? She's our friend! No, she's not! You've seen those things, the fucking animals! You can't just start killing people. It's not right. Josie's right. At the train station, there were thousands of people there all trying to get out of the city. Suddenly something happened. The crowd surged. Those things attacked. I saw people, normal people, having pieces ripped off them, blood everywhere. There was a woman from my flat. She had a little lad, can't have been much older than two. She was screaming. One of those things was on her. Her little lad was screaming too. She went down and then, 
and then she attacked a little lad. Jesus. Whatever, whoever Anna is, is gone. And all that's left is that thing outside. Jesus, is she actually dead? I don't know. Come on, let's just move her. Well, come on then! All right! Oh, God! Oh, God. stormed out. I told her to drop dead. Eddie, you didn't mean to. I told the person I love more than anything in the world to drop dead. That should be me out there. What if the baby comes now? Don't worry about that now, now. You're off your head trusting him. You don't even know him, none of us do. What the fuck are we doing here nursing two complete strangers? You're not nursing us. We're here through no thanks to you. I'm only here because of James. He saved me, not you. It's okay, don't get yourself in a state. It's not okay. Who is she to talk to us like that? Even her friends. You're a sick, evil, twisted little bitch. We need to get walking. Nah, just do the best you can, all right? You're on thin ice, Jersey. Very thin ice. Let's just get inside. Natalie can't keep going. We need some rest. Wait a minute. Kate, what's wrong? Forget it, yeah. Just get inside. I'm starving. Right, guys, you go that way. We'll go this way. Check it out.
Ah! <laughs> 